Welcome back to our next episode in our series on aerodynamics. I have a question that I want to pose for you. Which of these two do you think is going to fly? They're just foam cutouts, but one of them will. Now, you're probably, you might be inclined to think this one because it looks like a plane, or you might be inclined to think this one because I'm asking you about it. But this one actually is the one that flies. That was the one. This one, however, if you throw it, plummets. Why is that? Well, interestingly enough, if we add some weight to the front of this, then what do you know? It flies pretty well. So today we're going to talk about stability and center of gravity and how those are related. So why did this plane fly whenever we added weight to it? Well, so if you think about it, this is all one uniform mass. It's all made out of the same material, so we can kind of calculate it evenly. But the plane has, its, has a weight somewhere that it's going to balance at, where all the sides will end up balancing. And so right now, it's about right there. And if you look on the back side of the wing, that point is right about here. And so in aerodynamics, whenever we're generalizing, if you're, if you're doing a specific analysis, you wouldn't generalize. But in aerodynamics, we have what's called the rule of thirds, which means that typically you want the center of gravity to lie within the front third to the front fourth of the airplane, of the wing, or the lifting surface. And that's assuming a rectangular surface. If you have a swept wing, you can kind of just calculate the area and calculate the front third of that area. And that generally is where your CG should lie. And so whenever we put this nickel up in the front of that, we add more weight to the front, and so it balances out. If you see, it lies right in the front third of that wing. And so we know just because the weight's there, you can look at this and go, oh, hey, this thing's going to be stable, and that totally will stable. <laughs> so if you're looking at your wing, and you were to model the forces of lift on it, you could get it to say, hey, all the forces balance to where this lift is going to be one part of the wing. And then if you balance out the plane, you say, okay, your center of gravity is going to be in or another part of the plane. This can help you explain and understand why the center of gravity is so important to stability. And the reason for that is because if your center of gravity is in front of your center of lift, then the plane is going to want to naturally nose down a little bit. But we can correct for that because we have a stabilizer in the back. And so that makes it so that you can easily correct and achieve very stable flight. However, if your center of gravity is behind your center of lift, then your aircraft is going to want to rotate around the center of lift, around its belly, and go down. And even though we, have, we can correct for that a little bit with our control surfaces, it's very difficult. So if you have to err to either nose heavy or tail heavy, always go nose heavy. A nose heavy plane wants to, nose, wants to go down a little bit. A tail heavy plane won't fly at all. We have some examples of that so that you can see exactly what we mean. So this plane happens to be nose heavy. If you balance out where, the, where it is on the wings, you can see it's right here. However, your center of lift is probably somewhere back here, and so it's going to want to nose down. So we'll show you what that looks like. See how it wants to tend to arc towards the ground? This plane, however, is tail heavy. Let me show you what that looks like. It wants to flop up and it won't fly at all. However, whenever you can get your center of gravity perfectly balanced, something beautiful happens. This one is a modified Y-Flyer. We call it the Y-Flyer Stealth. It has no exterior folds. We'll show you how to make it in an upcoming video. So if you remember, this plane flew very tail heavy and it wouldn't fly at all. We can fix that, however, by adding some weight to the front. So I'm going to take a penny and I'm going to tape it into the front. And now whenever we throw it, you'll notice, hey, it doesn't fly too bad at all. And so just by fixing the center of gravity, we can fix the way our planes fly. I've added some tape to the back of the aircraft that was tail heavy. And so now, instead of flying well, but into the ground, it flies pretty smoothly. I've noticed in all forms of scale flight, whether it be, uh, whether it be paper airplanes or RC planes or anything, 
70% of crashes that I've noticed come from center of gravity issues rather than pilot error. So just know before you fly anything, you always have to check the center of gravity. The center of gravity is wrong, you're risking everything. But if it's right, boom. Get it on the money. <laughs>